All right. <clears throat> this is a little bit more local to us, but what are you? Friend four. Yeah, friend four. <laughs> What's wrong, friend four? Um, yeah. East Penn. Mm-hmm. This is the May school district around us here. Okay. Uh, this is according to WFMZ. Parents protest to East Penn school directors over content of videos. Uh, this is in Emmaus, Pennsylvania. Concerned parents spoke at the East Penn School Board meeting on Monday night saying that Emmaus High School put into question the rights of parents to have control over what their kids are exposed to. During the week of April 23rd, the speaker said the entire student body was exposed to videos during homeroom for an entire week that concerned homosexual and transgender lifestyles. Mike Huff, a parent of one of the students at Emmaus High School, called them purposeful planned indoctrination videos that went against his son's heterosexual orientation. I don't know if that was exactly necessary to lay it out that way, but okay. <laughs> According to... Just want everyone to know for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yeah. My kid yeah. likes <laughs> chicks. <laughs> uh, according to Huff, neither the students nor the parents were privy to this information prior to the videos being shown. I do not support a publicly funded school pushing any political or social views on children. Not your political view and social views. Not my political and social views. None. Our community deserves much better than this from the administration and the school board, said Michelle Blagbro, an East Penn school district parent who also spoke at the meeting. Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. Mm-hmm. You, ha- you have your stuff going on there. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Again, the libertarian in me says, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you do. Yep. But as you're going to see with some of the videos I'm about to show on what's coming to Netflix soon, Mm -hmm. uh, may already be there, I don't know, because this was from last week, uh, we've gotten to a point where we're taking the innocence from children. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you want to talk about uh, in schools how children should know sexual orientation stuff so that they're prepared or uh, that they may be questioning themselves and stuff like that. Those are questions that they should learn to approach their parents about. Yeah. You know what I mean? If, if you, if you're saying that that's not a possibility, then essentially what you're saying is that you're raising a wall between the parents and their children. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're cutting off that kind of communication that's necessary with your kids to evolve that relationship with them to have a trusting relationship between parents and kids, Mm -hmm. you know? And for this to happen behind your back without any knowledge of what's going on, there's something really wrong with that. And, you know, kids are... Kids for everything. I'm not Mm -hmm. just talking about sexual orientation or anything like that. It's everything. These are the developmental years. You are supposed to... It's not only about discovering things... It's about learning to discover things mm-hmm. because that's what makes you a productive adult to pursue the knowledge of different things, right? Yeah. So essentially what you have is school districts like East Penn here cramming this stuff into down kids' throats to prove a point, you know, to spread mm-hmm. an agenda. And w- is it really necessary? No. It's not necessary, you know? You can, you can talk all you want about how it's about tolerance and, and spreading the knowledge so that kids are prepared to deal with this kind of stuff. But that's not up to you. Yeah, that is not that is not the the core um, subjects. I yeah. guess you could say of what you're going to school for. Yeah, I mean that teaching you to be taller and teaching you how to how to be a good person and that's parents' job. Yeah, math and science and social studies that's school's job. Yeah, that's that's it. Reading, writing, math. Uh, yeah. and mm-hmm. history. Yeah. yeah. Which they don't even really teach history. No. Yeah. They don't really teach any of that stuff anymore. It's all <laughs> Common Core has infected everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, it's just still, I I mean, why isn't Common Core gone yet? I, that's one of like, the biggest things. Like, yeah. It when was Trump a campaign won, promise. Like, and I guess he's getting to them. He's, yeah. he's ticking them off one by one. Oh, so you, you go hopefully. through the list of his campaign promises, and unlike any other president in recent history, he has accomplished, he has checked off things on yeah. that list. Like unbelievable amounts of things, you yep. know, and to think in the first year, the hurricanes down in Texas and Florida, the wildfire, wildfires, wildfires. Uh, you got the Puerto Rico situation, which we're actually have an update on that oh. tonight. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that mayor down there, yeah, the woman with nasty written across her chest, yep. and everything. Um, 
all that, the Charlottesville incident last year that we talked about, and all this other stuff going on. It was, it's been chaos, right? Mm-hmm. We have, uh, like we we're talking about, this outrage culture now where it's, it's immediately elevated. No matter what he does, it's immediate outrage, screaming that he's a Nazi, that he's a fascist. He can, he can pick up a pencil. It's, the wrong, it's a wrong pencil. You yep. know what I mean? And that's a Nazi pencil. Yeah. You know, it's like no matter what the guy does, uh, there's this outrage out there and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he's checking it off. We got way off topic uh, with Trump yeah, yeah. and everything. But essentially, when it comes to schools and everything, like, listen, kids are innocent. They're learning things. If they want to learn about that stuff on their own time, I'm not saying, like, keep it away from them. But if you're going to take the uh, position that mentioning Christ or the Bible or, you know, I, I heard someone um, recently, I saw a video of a little girl saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to a flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, uh, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And they're, teach- they're teaching these kids to leave out uh, under God and yeah. stuff like that because it's so offensive. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you can't do that. You can't have a Christmas tree. You can't have Christmas decorations. You can't You can't even have the pilgrims and the Indians in, mm-hmm. in regards to Thanksgiving and everything because they have that whole history lesson ass backwards. They don't even realize that the pilgrims and the Indians actually had a great cohesive relationship, and they did fantastic. The trials, uh, the Indians put themselves on trial for mistreatment of the pilgrims. It's the conquistadors and the businessmen that finally came over after the fact that were mistreating the Indians and everything, or Native Americans, I'm sorry. I just Indigenous oh, peoples. Oh, oh my gosh, I did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, what is it today? <laughs> yeah. What is it today? You know what yeah. I mean? And you can't have this stuff anymore, but we're going to cram down a uh, new wave of uh, like this social agenda down the kids' throats where five, six years ago, like even people on the left would be arguing, I don't think that should be happening. But now it's like, uh, you got to because tolerance. Yeah. Did I just go on a rant and just like... <laughs> yeah. <You> left, <laughs> Any thoughts? You left nothing for me to say. <laughs> nothing but ketchup slices. <laughs> nothing but ketchup slices. No, but I mean, yeah, it's just... A lot of this stuff should be left to parents. It's like they're removing parents' responsibility, like the parents' role in raising kids. Yeah, you know, they want the. Um, I have two teachers tuned in right now. Yeah, and one uh, former school board member too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and so. they can join in. You can join in. I mean, listen, you understand uh, these two, especially that uh, have followed along with me and everything. Mm-hmm. They know. As I was on the school board here and everything, I fought mm-hmm. for the teachers, I fought for the administration, I fought yeah. for the education and everything. But there's some steps that are just a step too far. You yeah. know what I mean? And if there's not enough time to teach creatively for teachers mm-hmm. anymore, you're reading letters across the country of teachers that are quitting because they can't even teach creatively because they're teaching to the next state standardized test and everything. Yeah. You know, there's no time to teach anything else. Then where the hell is the time to be doing all social uh, cramming all this social agenda crap down their throats too? Yep. You know, like focus on the main subjects. Mm. That's all we're asking as parents. You, we are giving you the responsibility. Unless you're like me, where you took the responsibility away and you homeschool because of crap like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are giving you the responsibility to watch over, educate, and in a way, protect our children for a good portion of the day. You actually see our kids in public schools more than the parents do for a good portion of the first part of their life. Mm-hmm. Okay? <clears throat> Besides summers that you also get off with. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. we are entrusting you with those types of things. And it's ridiculous that we put this blind trust into you and you turn around, stab us in the back, and do things that we wouldn't approve of, and you know that we wouldn't approve of, if you would even let us know that you were doing it in the first yeah, place. Yeah, it's it's crazy. They're not joining yeah. in, but whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you're more than welcome to join in on it, guys. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this. This feeds right into this then about the innocence of childhood. Uh, some shows. One is coming to Netflix. The other one's coming to uh, another network. I think it'll mention it on here. Let's take a look at the trailer for the new Netflix show.
Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's kind of a, what you would consider more of, and I hate using this word in regards to this, but mm-hmm. a teaser than a trailer for the show. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> so uh, the show's coming out and everything. It's obviously an animated show. It's about drag queens and everything. Mm-hmm. And my only thing is, listen, we have our uh, Netflix account set up to have a kid's account. Mm-hmm. And my account, which, you know, you go into mine, you're going to see, like, all my shows and stuff, you know, yep. that I'm watching, like, all the Marvel Netflix shows and uh, the hyper-violent movies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. It's it, Lost in Space. I'm also watching that. Yeah. I just finished that, which is a great show, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have those two categories. You have a kid's category. Uh, I'm going to tell you something right now. If that show shows up in the kid's category, we're done. And I would encourage you to be done with it, too. Yeah. Right? If you have any questioning bone in your body as a viewer mm-hmm. that you think that your children should be exposed to this mm-hmm. as, as an... I mean, it's one thing for a drag show. Like, listen, when it comes to content and everything, mm-hmm. again, the First Amendment, I'm okay with them putting that out there. Like, if, if people are willing to consume the content and there's a market for it, then there's a market for it. RuPaul's Drag Race is like one of the biggest shows out there, right? Mm-hmm. And we've talked about RuPaul yeah, yeah. and the transgender contestants that he has that he doesn't want them on there. Oh, yep. I had to think about that for a second, uh, mm-hmm. but um, he's actually involved in the next one I'm going to show you. But if there's a market for it, then I completely understand. Put the content out there. But since it's animated, my concern is what's that the it's rating going to be? Yeah, my concern yep. is that this is going to be fed into the category of children's shows. And again, this sneaky mentality of just like, hey, don't even don't even mention it to people. Just slide it in there, and uh, you know, because that's tolerance. Just go with it. And parents that don't do it are bigoted. Mm-hmm. Well, no, yeah, right. cool. I, we're we're even in control of the content of our kids on Netflix with stuff that they're even allowed to watch currently in the children's section right now. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some shows on there that we're like, no, you can't watch that, and mm-hmm. we make it very clear, you know. Yeah. But how much content is on Netflix? Yeah, it's tons. It's it's yeah, it's it's a mm-hmm. crazy amount. We as parents don't have the time to sift through and filter through all this crap mm-hmm. to say, okay, hey, here's a list, kids that can't even read really yet, except for our one mm-hmm. of the three uh, of things that you can't watch. Yep. You know, it's you don't you can't do that. Yeah, you're kids, trusting the service with their yeah. ratings programs and the fact that they even put parental controls yep. in, which is good. Um, so yeah, you, you, I, I I kind of have some hope. Just by from from the trailer, it was kind of like over sexualized in a way, like almost like as a as a parody kind of, you know. And yes. does that so and hoping okay. that it's going to be an yeah. adult theme, and because they have uh, other shows like BoJack Horseman yes. is an adult yes. show and it's a yes. cartoon. So yep. fingers crossed. But yeah, I totally see if and this if is somehow case, like oh, your kids should be okay with this. And yeah, exactly. If it's if it's if it doesn't show up in the children's section and there's a market for it, whatever. That's mm-hmm. business. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm okay with it then. For adults to be consuming this. But again, I just don't want it fed into the children's section. Mm -hmm. Okay? So let's go on. This is the other one. Again, I don't know which network this one's going to, but RuPaul is involved in this one, so let's take a look at this one. In a world on the brink of chaos. Where fear is the rule of the land. We will build the wall. The voices of a generation have banded together. Bianca Del Rio, Adore Delano, Valentina, Latrice Royale, and Detox. With the supermodel of the world, RuPaul. <laughs> to give our planet what it needs. Baby Drag Queen. Field trip! Yes, set phasers to stunning. Ooh, snap! Oh, maybe you just not cut out to be a real queen. Because reading is what? Fundamental. What day are you supposed to be, cornball? I'm a Taurus day. That's not even. Glitter powers activate! My best friends in the entire world made this dress for me out of love and kindness and sisterhood. It's priceless and it's not for sale. I'll give you $10,000. Sold. Drag, 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 drag
Still offended. But give me a taco. Crunch, 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 crunch. Okay. <laughs> so, first of all, I was laughing at parts of that. Yeah. You know, I mean, it looks funny. Again, yeah. if it's for adults, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. But how does a child see advertisements for that or something and they're thinking... That it's not for kids. Yeah, it's it's so it's, you know it, I mean? it looks like it's, it's looks like, like it's for Family kids. Guy for us, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the Family Guy is hilarious and completely offensive mm-hmm. on purpose. Yeah, you know it's not for kids, and I, I I love Family Guy. Yeah, you know it tackles all the issues on both sides of the aisle mm-hmm. and everything else in between culture wise, and it's it's great. It's for adults, mm-hmm. but it's also marketed that way. Yeah, I think I feel it is. Yeah, you know, so RuPaul is involved in that one. And and it's like two drag cartoon shows. <laughs> what the this, heck? This is one going did on? seem kind of funny though. That one seems funnier than the other one. Well, <laughs> like, the other one's a teaser yeah, or whatever. But give me that taco. Yeah. Rah, rah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's almost kind of poking fun at themselves. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> so anyway, uh, um, those are the two shows coming. The only thing I would say to parents is um, be aware. Yeah, you got to do your best. It's 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 harder and harder with how much stuff is out there. We got to do your best. Look, you know? if this was a if this was a Christian based cartoon that was borderline offensive humor, but just stayed in that side to stay Christian, but like really like toned up that humor and everything, which they probably should do really to get the attention. We're going to talk about Chris Pratt later yeah. and everything, but. Um, what would liberals be doing if, if oh, that would be a boycotts and boycotts? Yeah, exactly. Immediately boycotts. Am I calling for a boycott? No, I'm just asking you to be aware and filter. Mm-hmm. That's it, because that's what the free market does. Unless that's, it is in the k- kids section, unless then, it's in then the kids section, then you burn that. <laughs> 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 then you burn that Roku box, not the Xbox though. All right, so 